Hello, Sasu Flavors family. Come on into my kitchen. Guess what we're making? Not fried chicken. We're making fried oyster mushroom, okay? Vegan style, okay? This is my first time making oyster mushrooms, guys, and it came out delicious. I can't wait for you to try this recipe. Here I have two different types of mushrooms. These ones here, these are called trumpet oyster mushrooms. And then the other squiggly one is just a regular oyster mushroom, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys the trick I use to get your seasoning in. I'm gonna cut the ends, and then we're gonna cut this down into two so that we can get into it so our seasonings can penetrate into this. Then I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna gradually glide the fork, not to cause any holes in our mushroom, but this is the way, like when you cut through your chicken to, to allow the seasoning to go through and to penetrate really well. You just wanna glide a fork down. You're gonna do that to the front and the back. And while you're doing that, click that subscribe button, click the notification bell, so you never miss a video when I push it out, guys. And this is how it should look, just like this, guys. Just like this, yes. Now we're gonna make the flour batter. You're gonna begin with your flour, followed by some paprika powder, coriander powder, some garlic powder, followed by onion powder, some chipotle pepper powder, some salt, then we're gonna give this a good mix. We are making fried oyster mushroom and we're gonna make a dry and a wet batter. Just like when you make your fried chicken, add the seasoning that you like, okay? And make this your own. And I'm gonna add a little cornstarch for a little crunch. Then give it a good mix, guys. Now on to our liquid batter. We're gonna use coconut milk. I did not use any plant-based milk. You're gonna add the same ingredients that you added in your flour batter, your paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, um, white pepper powder, black pepper powder, salt, chipotle pepper. If you prefer cayenne pepper, you can add that. And I'm using coconut milk, like I said. I'm gonna add in my salt. And I'm adding some apple cider vinegar, guys, to give it that buttermilk type of flavor, okay? That acidity. Then I'm gonna just mix this, and as you can see, I added some flour in this batter, like one tablespoon of flour. Then I'm gonna give it a good mix. Then if you wanna kick it up a notch, add your homemade jerk seasoning, cause that's what I wanted to do. And boy, I tell you, the smell of this is delicious. We're gonna mix that up. That's some homemade jerk seasoning, and that recipe's on my channel, or you can buy from the store and just add it in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and dip our mushrooms in the dry batter, okay? Then once we're finished dropping the flour here, we're gonna put it to the side. Then we're gonna go ahead and <clears throat> put it in our wet batter. Once you put it in your wet batter, you gotta put it in the dry batter again, okay? Don't forget, 
click that subscribe button join the family and let's make fried oyster mushroom leave me a comment let me know if you've ever made this before and what are some of the techniques that you use to make your fried oyster mushroom delicious And then for the last one, we're gonna put it in our flour. And you're gonna make sure your pan is warming. Add some avocado or grapeseed oil. And we are gonna fry these mushrooms up. Oh my goodness. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our oil in our pan. And then we're gonna fry our oyster mushrooms. Oh my goodness. So you're gonna go ahead and let these fry and you're gonna let them fry for about a minute on each side and then just turn them simultaneously, okay? These look amazing. This is the color that you want. We're gonna get ready to plate these and you can um, have them with your favorite dipping sauce. You can have them with your favorite dressing. I just kept it simple and I'm gonna use my homemade buffalo wing sauce, okay? Oh, now, oh my gosh, look at this, guys. This looks amazing. Fried oyster mushroom. Oh my gosh. Now to the good part. Look at that guys. Almost looks like chicken but it's not. It's fried oyster mushroom. Oh my goodness. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I hope you give it a try because you will like it. It tastes amazing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video. Bye. And enjoy.